Hello everyone, my guest today is one of the most famous boxers in England, Yassin al Mashi, known as The Showman. It took you years to make a name for you in the British boxing scene. How did you make it? Well, the name came by itself. Uh, obviously, I was jumping in the ring, uh, sparring, going around the gyms and training with different guys and uh, sparring with the world champions. This is how I made my name. Plus, I was fighting in, uh, in Britain, fighting the best fighters out there. You became the first boxer in the history to beat two world champions on the same night. How did you leave these achievements? So this achievement, uh, I was uh, the fourth favorite and then prize fighter. Prize fighter means eight fighters, the best fighters in Britain, they fight and, uh, and the best of them, he's going to win a trophy and plus a little bit of money. And, uh, and then I got my uh, schedule to fight against Colin Lyons, he's a former world champion. Then after when I beat him, I fought against uh, Junior Wita. Junior Wita is WBC world champion, former WBC world champion. That's how uh, I, made, I made it. I made like, I become the first, the number one person in the history of boxing to beat two former world champions. That's how I become. What did you learn from your experiences and the hard situations that you've been through? Well, you learn a lot from, from that. When you leave, when you leave your uh, country and you go different places, you learn such a lot of things. You know, the way you're going to leave, where you're going to sleep, where you're going to eat, and where you're going to train, who's going to look after you. It's not the same as you train here, for example, in Morocco. In Morocco, when you train, your mom cooked for you, uh, uh, feeds you, uh, gives you food, uh, put a blanket behind the back, and you know. But there you have to do everything by yourself. You know what I mean? That's just, you get a lot of experience out there. When you leave your country, it doesn't matter where you leave it, but you leave a lot of experience. You, you, you learn a lot. You're back to training this year after 26 months break because of your knee injury. How do you feel after this long period? Well, that was like a, a break time for me. I was training since when I was a kid and now I had a little break for about three years now. And it's all good getting back again, training hard, going for a run getting back in my, uh, my routine, what I used to do before. I'm feeling happy to get back again. And uh, yeah, that's what I can say. Is there any comeback fight soon? Yeah, probably, and I hope so. I'm finger crossed in, uh, in January. It's next, mo next month, which is next year, in 2015. And because uh, now at the moment, I'm uh, in Britain, there is no fighters. They want to fight me as, I don't know, because of my skin or because they don't want to lose or I don't know. I don't know the reason why they don't want to fight me. But I'm planning probably if there is no fight in, in uh, February and probably in two or three months I will go to America. That's my plan. I plan to go to America, show them my face again. and then everyone is going to start knowing my name again in America, the same way I did in Holland and the same way I did in Britain. Could we say that the showman is definitely back in 2015? Oh, it's not definitely. It's, it's a million percent I'm coming back. It's not 100%. As I'm, I'm, I'm for sure, I'll, I go to the gym and train hard, back again, I'm back with my trainer, Kevin Murray, and he's my manager as well. He's looking forward to be with me in the ring again in my corner. And Don Charles, this I got the two best trainers in in, uh, in the world, and and my manager. There is no, there is no manager better than him. That's that's what I can say. Kevin Murray is he's looking hard to get me fights in Britain, and if not, then uh, I'm making my way to America. America racing the Moroccan flag, the Arab flag. That's it. <laughs> Any last words to our viewers? Thank you so much for. Uh, your support on YouTube or on Facebook or on uh, Twitter, which is I got a lot of followers from uh, Arab uh, community, uh, Algerians. Thank you so much for Algerian people, which is they support me, Moroccans. 
uh, Tunisians. Uh, I'm proud of you guys. Thank you very much, Yassine, for being with us today. You're welcome, uh, Simo. Thank you very much, Al Arabian News, for having me today. Simo bin Bashir, Al Arabian News, Casablanca, Morocco.